Hey, hi, hello people. Doc, say hello to you and so does her over there. So today we're gonna show you how to set up for either a, you know, a newborn rock iguana or, you know, a juvenile yearling, a small one. Um, so we've got this exoteric cage here. I'm gonna jump into that in a second. Um, for those who are new, please, please, please subscribe to us. It would mean a whole lot. And check out gbliguanas.com. You can get a whole bunch of really, really awesome merch. Why don't I have this light turned on too? Lighting is good. Um, Diego10 is our promo code for 10% off anything in the store. gbliguanas.com, D-I-E-G-O-1-0. So let's get right into this. All right, so we're gonna keep this set up relatively easy. We're not gonna do anything too crazily complex. What we're gonna start with, let's put the background back, back in after cleaning, but uh, this uh, no float cypress mulch you can get from you know Home Depot Lowe's. It's like three bucks a bag, it's a great substrate. So um, for rock iguanas, you like being able to have, you know, you want a couple inches of it. Um, you know, of course, if they're bigger, you can go a little thicker if you want, because they do like to dig. Um, so let's uh, just do that real quick. Let's just pour this in and let's get on to the next step. All right, so we got the mulch all poured in. See, it's, you know, it's got a couple inches on there. Um, so what's really nice about this mulch is one, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty easy to clean. It's gonna help hold in a little bit of moisture and humidity, which you know, these guys don't need, you know, tropical humidity, but they still need a little bit. Um, so the, the mulch here is really, really good. Um, so the, the cage that we're actually using, if you're not familiar, so this is uh, one of the Exoterra front opening cages. Three feet long, 18 inches wide, 18 inches tall. This is a really, really, really good size for a, you know, for a baby to, you know, yearling or iguana, you know, roughly up to, I'd say 14 to 16 inches. Once they get a little bit past that, it's time to upgrade them, uh, upgrade, upgrade them into something a lot bigger and better. I'm struggling trying to put this screen here back on. Um, yeah, so the front opening cages, they're great because, you know, when you have a regular glass aquarium with a screen top and all that you're coming in from the top anytime you're trying to feed them interact with them anything that you're trying to do and that's not good because it, it almost reenacts what a predator would do they're coming in from the top so they are naturally predisposed to being a little bit more fearful um, so these front opening cages are great because you're not coming in from over the top you're able to just come in right from the front for all of your interactions. So th this is a really, really good cage. So let me, uh, since the screen top is being a bear, let me get this fixed real quick in the next step. Alrighty, so just kind of threw a few things together here. So as far as decorations go, you can, I mean, you can make it as complex and crazy as you want. I like doing it simple, but having enough in there that they feel secure. Um, so I'm gonna still add, you know, probably like little bits of fake plants and whatnot in there, but just to kind of show, so we do have a log hide, they can go in, go on top, this piece of driftwood and this piece of grapevine. I'm gonna use this side here for basking. So I'm gonna have a mega ray and a heat emitter, but I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, so from here that she can kinda, she'll, she'll be able to kind of move around to the desired temperature that she wants. Um, and you know, of course, whatever level of UVB penetration that she wants. Um, so yeah, so really pretty simple. I just wanna give them enough room where they can move around, but also so they can hide, feel secure. So you don't want to overdo the cage to where they can't move around. So this for her size, I'm gonna go grab her and show you her size. I mean, this is gonna be absolutely perfect for her, especially considering she's in a 20 gallon long right now, which is not very big. Are you really eating Oreos right now? The nerve. Cool, so let me go grab uh, grab the lights, get those set up, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so next step is the lighting. So just got that plugged in. Um, so on here, we've got a 100 watt Reptile UV Mega Ray, which is a mercury vapor bulb, heat and UVB. If you've watched us in the past, you know that we use that for everything. If you're new to us, we use them for everything. Um, and then just as supplemental heat on here, usually we use a halogen light, but in this particular case, had a ceramic heat emitter coming around, or just lying around. So this is a 100 watt ceramic heat emitter. Um, of course, always in a ceramic socket, and that is starting to get nice and warm. So this is gonna give us a nice little section here, like I was saying, where she can come closer to the UVB. Oops, 
Yeah, that works too. Or she can come over here closer to the heat emitter and she can kind of go in and out. Our living room stays pretty warm because of all of the everything everywhere. So temperature wise, I think she's gonna be just fine. So let me go and grab her and then we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit about iguanas and get her put in. Boo. Woman, wanna do that again? Boo. Send help, y'all haven't done it in a while. All right, so we just got this girl out. You've seen me show her before in that little small 20 gallon tank. This is our, I guess, kind of no name, or I think we're naming her Tiffany. I don't really know, but she was definitely due for a upgrade. How about you guys name her? Yeah, drop in the comments. You have some good names, and we'll kind of go from there. But uh, of course, she's a spazzy little thing, so I'm holding on, you know, with a decent grip so she doesn't go uh, go flinging, especially with all the dogs around. But yeah, pretty little girl, or probable girl. Um, she hasn't shown any signs of being a male. Really nice little pattern on her, so I'm very interested to see kind of what she's gonna grow up to. Um, she's a bit of an unknown with her bloodline. She's got a little bit of a crazy story behind her, but nothing that I can definitively prove. Um, so it'll be fun to see kind of how she's, uh, how she's gonna go, how she's gonna grow and develop. But I typically, I don't like grabbing um, and doing any force handling. Fortunately, sometimes you kind of have to, but see, she's okay. Once I calm down, they're typically okay. That's it. So now she's in here. She's gonna have so much more room to move around, do her thing, and act a fool. Uh, you know, as I, I'm gonna go around the house and find more fake plants to to put all in here. But this is absolutely a million times better than what she was in. So this is something you can do for really any any younger rock iguana. Like I said, anything that's you know from a hatchling up to you know, roughly 16 inches or so. So this will do her for a little bit of time, but not long. Just keep it simple, you know, give them places to climb on, give them tons of places where they can hide. Make sure on their basking temperature, you're getting nice and nice and hot. Um, you know, they're gonna like the 120 plus. Um, definitely need good strong UVB. So I always recommend the reptile UV mercury vapor bulbs. If not those, um, I believe Arcadia makes the fluorescent strips that are pretty much the best on the market um, as far as those are concerned. But I've used these mega rays and they're just perfect. So yeah, this is our uh, our new little cage for her that I'm sure she will have a blast with. And yeah, let me know what you think down in the uh, comments down below. Of course, if you have any other questions. Oh, oh you're, see, Candy Crush. Can't help me, but she can eat Oreos and play Candy Crush. All right, well, let me get some of these plants in here now. All right, so put the, we got, let's put a few different plants kind of all thrown throughout. They're all gonna get knocked around and all messed up, but at least it's gonna look pretty for right now. Gives a little bit more coverage and then it just looks a little bit more naturalistic, so. Yep, there she is. So, thanks guys. Um, please like and comment on the video with, uh, you know, your name suggestions for this girl. Um, of course, again, if you're not subscribed to us, please, please, please subscribe. It really goes to help us grow and you know, we put out some good stuff and every now and again, she does something useful. But uh, I appreciate y'all and I'll catch you next time.